that thing that's sitting on the porch. She's always doing that thing. Does not get old. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know That's that? That's fine. Men have tried before. You're nothing special. No. Just got off the train. Where are you in? Go underneath the thing. Back up north. Yeah, just went right underneath well, north of it. Yeah. Men have tried to take her before, you know. I feel bound to her. You'll be denied, just like everyone else. I've knocked about town from town. Too much not to know. Picture a girl. Sitting in a tenement window, looking down the indifferent throngs of Harlem. Better that than she listen to folk songs at dusk here? Could men in Washington, Chicago, New York, men here, bring her something left vacant by their bodies. You know men in those cities. We know men. She's not like that. I see her out being a prostitute in Chicago. I see her become a white man's concubine. I must do something for her. And what is that? Talk? Show her a place you've never been before? And for what? For Fern? For you? You saw her there sitting on her porch. Would you have forgotten her as soon as you reached your destination? You got off at the next station. What are you going to do for her? I was talking to a guy who said he knew a lot about you. Weather's nice. Yes. Do you know what time the train's coming? No. Because I'm a businessman. I'm coming back up to the north. I saw you on the train and I was compelled to talk to you, but I didn't. Anyways, I haven't found the right person to show me around town yet. You want to take a walk? Doesn't it bother you? Excuse me? The row of petty gossiping people. Doesn't bother me much. I'm on the soil of my ancestors. I feel like anything can come to me.